Well, hey guys, how you doing today? So the Lord put it on my heart to finish the prophecies from April 15th through, I guess we're now on April 29th, you know, so it's the 30th today, but um, the last prophecy, prophecy was April 29th, I believe. I mean, it was April 28th, I don't remember. Oh yeah, wait, it, it was April 28th because we were past midnight, so. Um, okay, so I'm going to do this, uh, it's going to take a while, it's one of, one of the long videos. Um, I claim Jesus Christ is the Son of God, He's also a God. He came to earth um, in the flesh as a man, um, and He died on the cross for our sins, and He rose on the third day. And He was born of a virgin. Um, let's see, ignore the telegram and the WhatsApp people, because they're trying to scam you. Okay, um, oh, and... Last night, guys, so when I posted the video last night, I was fine. I know a lot of people were like, what's wrong, you know? Um, so last night, yesterday when I was getting a message, I was just really, really tired and I fell asleep. I got this new chair and it's really awesome. It's like one of those cat sleeper chairs and it has a massager and like heat and uh, <laughs> I fall asleep so easily. So I fell asleep and I hadn't posted that message yet. So I literally woke up. Um, at three something and finished the message and then um, posted it at four so that's why I seemed really like really tired or um, just not my usual bubbly self so okay I'm gonna stop rambling now and get on this okay um, April 15th 2023 Hebrews 9 5 and above it were the cherubim of glory overshadowing the mercy seat of these things we cannot now speak in detail. Micah 7, 6. For son dishonors father, daughter rises against her mother, daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law, and man's enemies are the men of his own household. Jude 1, 5. But I want to remind you, though you once knew this, that the Lord, having saved the people out of the land of Egypt, afterward destroyed those who did not believe. Philippians 2 4 let each of you look out not only for his own interest but also for the interest of others here's the message my child wake them up wake them up I am coming bombs are going to drop Minnesota New Hampshire Texas Rhode Island Florida Georgia South Carolina heed these warnings I am coming I told you drones were coming I told you they would attack the farms. Oil is next. They want to get rid of production. They want you to rely on them to feed you, to give you clean air. Famine and pestilence is coming and wages will triple. Once they take the oil out, diesel will be gone. Truckers won't be able to get it. It's part of their plan and it's all set in motion. I am with you. Perfect love cast out all fear. No hair will be lost. I will protect my chosen ones. When the nukes go up, you go up. Confess your sins to me. Come to me with all your heart and I will save you. There is no condemnation in me, your Savior. I am the truth, the way, the life. And no one can come to the Father except through me. I know many of you have fallen away and you used to love me. I still love you. Come back to me, I am calling you home. I stretch my arms far and wide, and they are open to you. I will never leave my chosen ones. I am your Adonai, your Redeemer, and I have spoken. Romans 1.11 <clears throat> For I long to see you that I may impart to you some spiritual gifts so that you may be established. Psalm 5.8 Lead me, O Lord, in your righteousness because of my enemies. Make your way straight before my face. 1 Corinthians 3.6 I planted, Apollos watered it, but God gave the increase. Peter 4, 9. Be hospitable to one another without grumbling. Luke 8, 5. A sower went out to sow his seed, and as he sowed, some fell by the wayside, and it was trampled down, and the birds of the air devoured it. John 6, 2. Then a great multitude followed him because they saw his signs, which he performed on those who were diseased. <clears throat> Jeremiah 14, 8. Oh, the hope of Israel, his Savior, in time of trouble, why should you be like a stranger in the land and like a traveler who turns aside to tarry for a night? Colossians 1, 6, which has come to you as it, also, as it has also in all the world and is bringing forth fruit at 
as it is also among you since the day you heard and knew the grace of God and truth. And then a little small message. Don't deny me. Don't deny me, child. I'm calling you home. The trumpets will sound. Please heed these warnings. I love you. Your Abba. Then Revelation 21, 3. And I heard a loud voice from heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them. <clears throat> and then Job 19, 8. He has fenced up my way so that I cannot pass, and he has set darkness in my paths. Daniel 2, 11. It is a difficult thing that the king requests, and there is no other who can tell it to the king except the gods whose dwelling is not with flesh. Okay, April 16th message, Revelation 4, 6. Before the throne there was a sea of glass like crystal, and in the midst of the throne and thr around the throne were four living creatures full of eyes in front and in back. Revelation 7, 3. Saying, Do not harm the earth, the sea, or the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our God on their foreheads. Ephesians 2, 7. That in the ages to come he might show the exceeding riches of his grace and his kindness towards us in Christ Jesus. Jonah 1, 4 through 9. But the Lord sent out a great wind on the sea, and there was a mighty tempest on the sea, so that the ship was about to be broken up. Then the mariners were afraid, and every man cried out to his God, and threw the cargo that was in the ship into the sea to lighten the load. But Jonah had gone down into the lowest parts of the ship, had lain down and was fast asleep. So the captain came to him and said to him, What do you mean, sleeper? Arise, call on your God. Perhaps your God will consider us so that we may not perish. And they said to one another, Come, let us cast lots that we may know for whose cause this trouble has come upon us. So they cast lots and the lot fell on Jonah. Then they said to him, Please tell us for whose cause is this trouble upon us. What is your occupation, and where do you come from? What is your country, and of what people are you? So he said to them, I am a Hebrew, and I, am, and I fear the Lord, the God of heaven, who made the sea and the dry land. <clears throat> Excuse me, Malachi 3, 4. Then the offering of Judah and Jerusalem will be pleasant to the Lord, as in the days of old, as in former years. Jeremiah 1, 7. But the Lord said to me, Do not say, I am a youth, for you shall go to all to whom I send you, and whatever I command you, you shall speak. And here's the message. <clears throat> seven, my child, seven, it's coming. Mega earthquakes, tsunamis, trumpets, I am at the door. Wake up, heed these warnings. Philadelphia is the key of David and my open door. You have to have my key to enter through my door. Do you believe in me? Do you trust in me? Are you walking in my spirit? You must be born again to enter my kingdom. I am your living water. You are saved by your faith in me and by my grace. Why are you trying to work to get to heaven? What did I die for? Your righteous acts can't save you. Only I can save you. Your wicked hearts are condemning you. Your words are condemning you. Why are you twisting my words? Why aren't you asking the Holy Spirit for confirmation? Why aren't you praying to me for discernment? Heaven's gates are wide open to my true believers, the ones who love me. Their hearts seek me. They don't doubt my forgiveness. They don't doubt me. They know I died for them on the cross. They know I shed my blood for them. They know I'm coming back for them. They love me and they love their neighbor. Oh, children, why can't you see I'm coming? I am keeping you from my wrath if you let me. I gave you free will, but now is the time to choose. You can't love me and love this world. A true follower of me will be hated by this world. They hated and persecuted me also. You question my existence. You wait for a Messiah, a false Messiah. You can't see I am the lamb that was sacrificed for your sins. Why are you burning incense and worshiping statues? You practice witchcraft and sorcery and you bow down to false gods. I am your God. I am your Messiah. These are contractions and they are almost done. The baby will be delivered soon and I am catching you up. The dragon will try to devour the rest of you and make you worship him. He will try and take your soul. <clears throat> There's only two things I won't forgive, and that is rejecting me with blaspheming the Holy Spirit and worshiping the beast by taking his mark. By taking the mark, you will have to worship Lucifer, and you will no longer be my child. Everything I created will be covered up with the mark of Lucifer. So I've noticed, you know, most of the time he uses devil and Satan, um, but, you know, on a couple messages he uses Lucifer, and I think there's a reason for that. 
you know, there's always a reason he does something. So I don't know if he's just bringing us back to the, the olden days. Not sure. I don't want this for any of my children. Fire and brimstone is what you will receive when you don't have me. All the words I have spoken will come to pass. Stop mocking my prophets. Stop mocking my dreamers and visionaries. When my children share a message of my coming, stop scoffing. I am coming. I delay so you will have a chance for repentance and come to me. But my delay is coming to an end. My warnings are final. Lincoln, Nebraska, seven times quake. <clears throat> Destruction. Meteorites falling. Detroit. Fire, fire, fire. They will need lots of water, but it will be contaminated forcing you out of your homes. After Harpazo, eminent domain will come. Riots, protests, no money, layoffs. Major companies take down small ones, a domino effect, they will all fall. Only the major ones will be left. They will be a part of the Luciferian agenda. Collateral, you will have nothing to bargain with. The enemy will own it all. Okay, um, <clears throat> Second Timothy 4.8. Finally, there is laid up for me the crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, will give to me on that day, and not to me only, but also to all who have loved his appearing. 1 Thessalonians 3, 7. Therefore, brethren, in all our affliction and distress, we were comforted concerning you by your faith. Colossians 2, 7. Rooted and built up in him and established in the faith as you have been taught, abounding in it with thanksgiving. 1 Peter 1, 5. Who are kept by the power of God through faith for salvation, ready to be revealed in the last time. Revelation 7, 8. Of the tribe of Zebulon, <clears throat> Zebulun, 12,000 were sealed. Of the tribe of Joseph, 12,000 were sealed. Of the tribe of Benjamin, 12,000 were sealed. Esther 4, 9. So Hathak returned and told Esther the words of Mordecai. Joel 1, 9. The grain offering and the drink offering have been cut off from the house of the Lord, the priests mourn who minister to the Lord. Here's the message. 666. Lucifer, angel, darkness, falls. The beast has risen. The angels come out of the abyss. Locusts come out of the abyss. Geomagnetic storms. The lightning strikes will show my hour. The ninth hour clock stops. Moon upside down. Virgo at her feet. The constellation turned. No more lights. Can you see the signs of my coming yet? Keep looking, redemption draws nigh. Your Redeemer, your Rescuer, your Friend, your Lord God has spoken. Second Thessalonians 3, 5 Now may the Lord direct your hearts into the love of God and into the patience of Christ. Mark 1, 11 <clears throat> Then a voice came from heaven. You are my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. Habakkuk 2, 7 Will not your creditors rise up suddenly? Will they not awaken who oppress you? and you will become their booty. Jeremiah 1, five. Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I sanctified you. I ordained you a prophet to the nations. John 5.8. Jesus said to him, Rise, take up your bed, and walk. Revelation 19.20. Then the beast was captured, and with him the false prophet, who worked signs in his presence, by which he deceived those who received the mark of the beast, and those who worshipped his image, these two were cast alive into the lake of fire, burning with brimstone. Matthew 15, 9. And in vain they worshipped me, teaching as doctrines the commandments of men. Joel 2, 4. <clears throat> Their appearance is like the appearance of horses, and like swift steeds, so they run. Okay. Um, this was just my dream. <laughs> April 18, 2023. 1 Thessalonians 3, 8. For now we live if you stand fast in the Lord. Micah 7, 9. I will bear the indignation of the Lord because I have sinned against him until he pleads my case and executes justice. 2 Timothy 4, 8. Finally, there is laid up for me in the crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, will give to me on that day. And not to me only, but also to all who have loved his appearing. 1 Peter 2, nine. But you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, his own special people that you may proclaim. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Praises of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. 
Colossians 1 4 since we heard of your faith in Christ Jesus and of your love for all the Saints here's the message my child explosions from the Middle East China Russia North Korea called for the order Norway will feel the impact of natural disaster Somalia Tokyo fire in the streets rain my child rain lots of rain run it's not real rain it's acid the end has come I will no longer be there to protect you Rome bomb in the city Chesapeake Bridge it's coming it's after the rapture heed my warnings my child Berlin it's going to get muddy very muddy sinkholes fire in the hole in Damascus Australia the economy will collapse freezing bank accounts freezing system shut down it will be on a Friday new system in play on a Monday heed my warnings my child I am coming Zimbabwe Kenya will partner Christian persecutions will start I think they're starting like together or whatever because I think there are persecutions there already locust swarm an economical collapse wake up children I don't want this for any of my children my father sent me and I heard the locusts are already swarming right now which is kind of crazy my father sent me to save my children not condemn them the price of sin has been paid by me you are set free you know and he started giving me locust warnings I think back in like February <clears throat> even in January I think uh, are no longer cursed under the law you obey my commandments because you love me I will remove your heart of stone and give you a new heart of flesh I will renew your mind if you walk in spiritual darkness you aren't walking in the truth and you aren't walking in my spirit dumbfounded of Congress they think the takedown of cabal will eliminate the evil the elite hidden behind Satan run this world and I have allowed them to commence my judgment it's all here and you will see a parade of lights in the skies come to me child lay your burdens down and I will give you rest I love you believe in me and I will save you you are saved by your faith and my grace it's a free gift and you can't boast about your salvation and your works are righteous acts where your rewards will be in heaven the fruit of the Spirit <clears throat> is my key the key of David my open door you walk with me you believe in me you have faith and trust in me lay your idols down and give me your hearts I will save you I love you your Adonai and Redeemer your Lord God and I have spoken Genesis 49 against Sh Shadorle Mora king of Elam title king of nations Amraphel king of Shinar and Arya king of Eleazar four kings against five Philippians 2.12 Therefore, my beloved, as you have always believed, obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. I think my dog wants water. Hang on, Dobby. Jeremiah 7.11 Has this house, which is called you by name, become a den of thieves in your eyes? Behold, I even I have seen it, says the Lord. Ezekiel 14.8 I will set my face against the man and make him a sign and a proverb, and I will cut him off from the midst of my people. Then you shall know that I am the Lord. Isaiah 63. The Gentiles shall come to your light, and kings to the brightness of your rising. Revelation 21.5 Then he who sat on the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. And he said to me, Write, for these words are true and faithful. John 3.5 Jesus answered, Most assuredly, I say to you, unless one is born of water and the Spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. Jesus is a living water, guys. Because, you know, when the woman from Samaria, well, actually, look, it's right here. John 4, 7, a woman of Samaria came to draw water. Jesus said to her, give me a drink. Um, so where can I find that living water? It's Jesus. Matthew eight eleven. and I say to you that many will come from east and west and sit down with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob in the kingdom of heaven. All right, let me give him some water real quick. You can follow me. <clears throat> My dog is 17. So, he's blind, but he's my baby. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Are you thirsty? Come here. So, I feed him from a cup. <laughs> there you go. You want to see him? This is Dobby. Say hi, Debbie. Say hi. He's so cute. 
He's so cute, isn't he? <clears throat> He's very spoiled. Sorry, it takes a minute for him to get his water. He gets very thirsty because he's 17 and um, I don't know if it's his kidneys or what, but I know he'll be with me in heaven. <sighs> Simba's already in heaven. Simba was my boxer colleague um, who was 15 and I think he's a puppy running around heaven right now. So I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to seeing my sister, my dad, and my baby that I lost. Asher, well, I lost two babies, but the first one didn't take so I don't know if that one counts but the second one God named him so I think Asher's waiting for me in heaven okay Dobby that's enough he's so thirsty I gotta get back say goodbye say goodbye say goodbye okay come here all right it gets under the covers too. Okay. God's prophecies take so long. <laughs> Especially when I do like the long ones. Okay. April 20, 2023. Oh, Jeremiah 1.7. Okay. But the Lord said to me, Do not say I am a youth, for you shall go to all to whom I send you, and whatever I command you, you shall speak. Jeremiah 1.8. Do not be afraid of their faces, for I am with you to deliver you, says the Lord. Job 4, 9. By the blast of God they perish, and by the breath of his anger they are consumed. Revelation 6, 7. When he opened the fourth seal, I heard the voice of the fourth living creature saying, Come and see. Colossians 1, 4. Since we heard of your faith in Christ Jesus and of your love for all the saints. 1 Timothy 1, 9. Knowing this, that the law is not made for a righteous person, but for the lawless and an insubordinate for the ungodly and for sinners, for the unholy and profane, for murders of fathers and murders of mothers, for manslayers. Okay, here's a message. My child, space, my child, space. NASA calls for destruction. It's a lie. It's a deception. Wormwood, planet X, discover the truth. What is going to explain the rapture? I already told you, unidentified objects. It's not real destruction, it's a mirrored image. Don't be fooled by their tactics. It's not aliens, it's fallen angels. They're lining up their agenda. Harpazo signals the end, but only the beginning. It will bring in the great tribulation. Systems already in place. Once restrainer is removed, my judgment commences. I don't want any of this for my children. If you believe in me and confess I am Lord, I will save you. So sometimes he uses rapture and sometimes he uses harpazo. And, you know, you have to understand these messages are for the Jews, the unbelievers, and the believers. And the people left behind are not going to know what harpazo is if they were an unbeliever. So he has to give me these words so other people will explain, will understand. Okay, and then this is the rest of the message. New Zealand earthquakes seven, earth shakes sevenfold. Now, how weird is that, guys? Because this was um, the 20th, and New Zealand just got a 7.1 earthquake. So things are wrapping up pretty quickly. Colorado oil production gone. Why can't you see the end is near, my child? Why do you still question my teachings? Destruction will come upon the world like birth pains upon a woman in labor. Labor. Philadelphia will burn, Freemasonry Temple will fall, electricity will go out in Idaho, Oklahoma will experience food shortage, there will be a fire. Please wake up children, time is so short and I am at the door. I love you all and I wish for no one to perish. Then he gave me uh, 1 Corinthians 2, 7. But we speak the wisdom of God and a mystery, the hidden wisdom which God ordained before the ages for our glory. 1 Peter 1, 5, who are kept by the power of God through faith for salvation, ready to be revealed in the last time. Zephaniah 1, 9, in the same day, I will punish all those who leap over the threshold, who fill their master's houses with violence and deceit. 2 Corinthians 2, 8, therefore, I urge you to reaffirm your love to him. 1 John 2, 4, he who says, I know him and does not keep his commandments is a liar and the truth is not in him. I feel like I have to sneeze. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> John 3, 7. Do not marvel that I said to you, you must be born again. 
Oh, this is God's patterns. Okay. Oh, there's my cliff notes that I was looking for. <laughs> oh, I we're gonna do a live soon. Me, um, Faith Over Fear 44, Cassie, and um Jess from um Jesus Saves 2747. We're gonna do a live soon and we're gonna answer questions that people we're gonna put our stuff together because Cassie gets words too. Um and you know they're a little different than mine like she got the sign of Jonah and stuff which is real cool um and then he started giving me like Jonah scripture so that was cool so it's kind of tying in and then you know of course Jesus saves she figures out all the um heavenly signs and all that stuff and Cassie's you know she does that too but that all goes over my head you know which a lot does <laughs> I still question why did you pick me? Okay. Um, hang on. I'm getting the patterns that I wrote down, the cliff notes. They were in here. I was looking for them. And I found them. Yay. Okay, so we got April 22nd, 2023. Second Thessalonians 3 6. But we command you, brethren, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that you withdraw from every brother who walks disorderly and not according to the tradition which he received from us. Mark 13, 5. And Jesus answering them began to say, Take heed that no one deceives you. Ephesians 3, 11. According to the eternal purpose which he accomplished in Christ Jesus our Lord. 2 Timothy 1, 5. When I call to remember the genuine faith that is in you, which dwelt first in your grandmother, Louis, and your mother Eunice, and I am persuaded and is in you also. Revelation 5.10 And have made us kings and priests to our God, and we shall reign on the earth. Job 38.6 To what were its foundations fastened, or who laid its cornerstone? First Chronicles 2.12 Prothusium clashluum From whom came the Philistines and the Caphetorum? <coughs> okay, here's a message. <clears throat> my child drones drones are coming it's so soon i have warned and warned and now it's time to perform my word i had some messages and emails some people saying that they've been seeing drones so, so that's pretty interesting do you see my patterns yet do you see how it's slowly evolving how every word means something the heavens i have created do you see the purpose behind my creation the Mazaroff, my beautiful invention is man greater than me, the great I am. Hasn't man always positioned himself on a higher beam and mocked my creation? Oh, you wicked heathen with such wicked hearts. You always defy me and you, lis and you listen to the evil ones who have changed and mocked my creation from the beginning. Who has always mocked me and mimicked? Who has always mocked me and mimicked my creations? Who has always put themselves on a pedestal? making it about their own selfish desires. Do you see the arrogance and the mocking man has created against me? Do you know who has been behind this influence? Lucifer, so why do you worship a false god who doesn't love you and wants your soul to perish? Do you trust in the Father or do you trust in man's creation? I am forthcoming and to the point. I don't change my creation, the devil does. He twists everything, so will you deny your creator? It's interesting because, you know, he uses devil, Satan, but he also uses Lucifer. So I know there's a message in there somewhere. Lucifer twists my words so you won't worship the one true God who died on a cross for you to save you. My anointed ones have tried to warn you. They don't speak on their own behalf. They worship me and they are led by the Holy Spirit to speak my truth. They know I want to save my children and wish for none of them to perish. So why do you just speak of my wrath? Why don't you speak of the love I have for my children? Why do you come against my prophets and wish death upon them? You will perish where you stand. You do not have the love of me or my father. Your wicked hearts blind you from your own vain selfish desires. You do it for greed and you are ignorant and prideful. You won't repent and change your wicked ways. Humble yourselves and get rid of your pride. Stop arguing with your neighbor. It's a footstool for the devil. He thrives on malicious behavior and disingenuous arguments. You thrive on evil. You cast spells and worship your own wickedness through witchcraft and sorcery. You are an abomination to your own soul. 
Every word you have spoken you will be held accountable for if you don't turn from your wicked ways and believe in me. You seek and try to devour my chosen ones. Your lips are full of venom and your heart is wicked. You follow in the footsteps of Cain. I told you to test all spirits. Is it lining up with my word by the Holy Spirit's understanding, not man? Is it to lead my children to the true gospel of their faith and my grace? Does it speak of repentance and turning your wicked hearts from stone to flesh? Passover in Purim has not come yet, but it will be here soon. Don't mock my words of knowledge, people. They don't always get it right, but their hearts are pure, and they seek me for truths. It will all be revealed in my own time. I haven't delayed my coming for you to scoff at my delay. I delay my coming so each and every one of you will have a chance to come to me with all of your hearts and believe in me. But my timing is perfect and pleasing and I already know the last person who will turn to me. Nothing is going to stop from calling my bride up. Nothing can take my bride away from me. Once you come to me with all of your hearts and believe and trust in me, you will always be saved. No one can snatch you out of my hand. No angels or demons. I will never blot your name out of my book. Oh, so many false prophets are claiming I have put their words in their mouth. Put my words in their mouth. Don't believe it, my child. Look at their fruits. I would never give a vision to hurt that na your neighbor or wish a de death upon them. Don't... Um, yeah. Oh, I would never ask you to mock them or scoff at them. If you come as the accuser, you come at them with Satan's influence. I told you to love your neighbor. If correction is needed, you show them in love, not hate and mockery. So much destruction is coming. I will not be mocked and I will not let these evil insidious people poison the minds of my children. Keep looking up. You will all bow down to me and confess I am Lord. For some of you, it will be too late. Wake up, children. I am trying to save you. Come to me with all your hearts and believe in me. Confess, I am Lord, and I will save you. Oh, you adulterous, wicked child. I know what is in your heart. I know you crave wickedness and evil. You search for a higher power who will never save you. You worship an idol who, you will, wa who will watch you perish. There is no intervening. There is no redeeming. How can a statue save you? Your mind has already been poisoned by lucifer and he has already tried to alter your dna but i will not allow my creation to be mocked and changed i am rescuing my people i am their redeemer their suffering and tribulation is almost over keep looking at the moon gemini virgo taurus libra it's soon warnings contractions truth revealed more contractions pains of labor revealed the child will be delivered soon. I am your Lord God, and I have spoken. The Massachusetts train will derail. Cargo will be destroyed. Acid will reveal not just one place, but several. First rain, then war. Lights, nukes, darkness, the terror of screams. Many will die before the wedding feast. Now my chosen ones, they will escape my wrath. In the twinkling of an eye, at the last trumpet, they will be saved. But what trumpet is it? Is it the angels? Is it my voice? Is it the last seal? Haven't I told you I would save you from the hour of trial coming on this whole world? Perfect love cast out all fear. I have no wrath for my chosen ones. I told you you are set apart and my words are supposed to comfort you. Haven't I prepared a place for you? When will the new heaven be created? When will the new Jerusalem be created? You will honor me by dying for my glory while the dragon tries to devour you. Or you can believe and trust in me now and escape my wrath and I will save you. There are many rooms in my father's house. All are welcome who truly worship me, who truly believe in me. Time is almost up and my warnings are final. I will take my children and my chosen ones on the ninth hour. It's coming soon. I do nothing without revealing it to my prophets first. Keep watching, keep praying, keep worshiping me. I will rescue you soon. You're out and I, I love you and I've spoken. Hosea 3, 5. Afterward, the children of Israel shall return and seek the Lord their God and David their king. They shall fear the Lord in his goodness in the latter days. Gotta switch arms.
Jude one nine. I should have done this earlier. I'm so tired. Yet Michael the archangel in contending with the devil when he disputed about the body of Moses dared not bring against him a reviling accusation but said the Lord rebuke you. Colossians 3 7 in which you yourself once walked when you lived in them. Jeremiah 2 15 the young lions roared at him and growled. They made his land waste. His cities are burned without inhabitant. 1 Thessalonians 2.9 For you remember, brethren, our labor and toil for laboring night and day, that we might not be a burden to any of you. Any of you. We preach to you the gospel of God. Philippians 3.2 Beware of dogs, beware of evil workers, beware of the mutilation. Joel 1.7-8 He has laid waste my vine and ruined my fig tree. He has stripped it bare and thrown it away. Its branches are made white. Lamb it like a virgin girded with sackcloth for the husband of her youth. Genesis 48.3 Then Jacob said to Joseph, God Almighty appeared to me at Luz in the land of Canaan and blessed me. <clears throat> okay, let me see if I can put my phone up here. Stay. Oh, okay, my hands are getting so tired. Okay, I need coffee when it's like so late. Right. It's tough being a messenger for Jesus. Okay. But I'm thankful and I'm grateful. Okay. April 22nd, 2023. Message two. So he gave me two messages that day. Ecclesiastes 317. I said in my heart, God shall judge the righteous and the wicked. For there is time there for every purpose and for every work. Mark 7, 6, he answered and said to them, Well, did Isaiah prophesy of you hypocrites as it is written? The people honors me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. <clears throat> Matthew thirteen ten. and the disciples came and said to him, Why do you speak to them in parables? Ezekiel 24, 3, and utter a parable to the rebellious house and say to them, Thus says the Lord God, put on a pot, set it on, and also pour water into it. Deuteronomy seven nineteen. The great Charles, which your eyes saw, the signs and the wonders, the mighty hand and the outstretched arm by which the Lord your God brought you out, so shall the Lord your God do to all the pe peoples of whom you are afraid. Job 19.3 These ten times you have reproached me, you are not ashamed that you have wronged me. Colossians 3.6 Because of these things, the wrath of God is coming upon the sons of disobedience. <clears throat> Ephesians 1 7 in him we have redemption through his blood the forgiveness of sins according to the riches of his grace okay and here's the message <gasps> so sorry okay mask my child mask it's a one masquerade it's the epitome of sin it's a mockery it's disingenuous it's insidious and it's over I will not stand for this. It's my will for none of my children to perish, but the bottom has fallen out, and the rubbish, the lies, and the deceit sickens me. I know who your real father is. I know who you worship. Machines, robots, AI will be the takeover and the deception leading to the mark. They make it seem beneficial and harmless. They make you get used to the convenience and continue patterns, but it is all a deception. Do not fall for it, children. Do not engage in it. It will open doors to spirits, to evil demonic activity. The world is going to get very dark. Once AI explodes on the scene, personality changes will commence everywhere. So it's interesting because, you know, I didn't think about that and recently, um, just people have been talking about, you know, GP chat and stuff like that. And, you know, before I got this message, I didn't, I didn't know anything. I've never tried it or used it or anything like that. But, um, someone was introducing it for, um, in the business and, um, it was really strange, but I didn't even put two and two together, but literally like the whole office shook the desk the chairs we thought it was like a mini earthquake and then we went downstairs and we asked and we're like did y'all feel that shake 
And there was like no planes flying over it or anything like that. And it's not like it was a very tall building. Um, very, very strange. And I just put two and two together. We just talked about that. And I think this was before I got these messages. I think God was warning his children not to mess with that stuff because it's going to lead into a lot of um, demonic activity. Okay. Now that they have opened the portals, fallen angels and demons will have free reign. When my church is gone, my elect, my children, AI will implode on every search engine. Every device will lead to a demonic spirit of influence. You know what's weird is I just heard a video the other day where they said like in six months AI will be able to let you contact your dead. So we know that's not good. Okay, It's the wave of the future and the deception will be so loud you will not be able to ignore it. It will overpower the world and spiritual warfare will heighten tenfold. Wake up, children. This is all a deception, a delusion of counterfeit gods. I am the only God who will save you. I love you all. Believe in me. Come to me with full repentance and give me your heart, child, and I will save you. I am your true creator, your friend, your father, and deliverer. Come to me and I will give you rest. Come to me and I will take away your burdens. I am holy. There is no darkness in me. When you walk in spiritual darkness, you are not practicing the truth. I am the truth, the way, the life, and no one can come to the Father except through me. I will change you. I will remove your heart of stone and give you a new heart of flesh. I will renew your mind. There is nothing you can do to save yourself. Stop flaunting your good deeds. No one can boast about salvation. It's a free gift. Do you get it now? Do you see how Satan has twisted my words to make you think you aren't worthy of my kingdom, to make you think you have to work to get to heaven? You don't. I died for you. I paid the penalty of sin. I made you righteous. If you believe in me, you are covered by me. My father no longer sees you as a sinner. What do you think I died for? You will always fall short from my glory. That's why you need me to save you. Only I can save you. Lord, Lord, we prophesied in your name. We've cast devils out in your name. But I will say, I never knew you. You who practice inequity. Um, I, I will say, I never knew you. You who practice iniquity. Um, and then, I think I repeated that one again. Okay. My, my children who, no, that's, that's not it, sorry. I don't know, I copied and pasted this. My children who are wicked and never believed in me, who have used my words for their own profit and gain. If I know you, my Father knows you, and your sins have been covered. You truly love me and believe in me. I will change you, and your wicked hearts will turn to love. You will forgive and you will love your neighbor because I love you and I love your neighbor and you will have my spirit. So love thy Lord God and love thy neighbor. One who trusts in me will abide in my commandments because they love me. I am your Jehovah, your Adonai, and I am your creator and I have spoken. Galatians 3.20 Now a mediator does not mediate for one only, but God is one. Galatians 5.10, I have confidence in you, in the Lord, that you will have no other mind, but he who troubles you shall bear his judgment. 1 John 1.4, and these things we write to you that your joy may be full. 1 John 3.6, whoever abides in him does not sin. Whoever sins has neither sinned him nor known him. Micah 2.7, you who are named the house of Jacob. Is the spirit of the Lord restricted? Are these his joins? Do not my words do good to him who walks uprightly? Ruth 3 2. Now Boaz, whose young woman you were with, is he not our relative? In fact, he is winnowing barley tonight at the threshing floor. Joshua 9 8. But they said to Joshua, We are your servants. And Joshua said to them, Who are you and where do you come from? Judges 7 4. But the Lord said to Gideon, the people are still too many. Bring them down to the water and I will test them for you. 
test, test them for you there, then it will be that of whom I say to you, this one shall go with you, the same shall go with you, and whomever I say to you, this one shall not go with you, the same shall not go. 1 Peter 2, 7 through 8, Therefore to you who believe, he is precious, but to those who are disobedient, the stone which the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone, and a stone of stumbling and a rock of offense. They stumble, being disobedient to the word to which they also were appointed. John 3, 9, Nicodemus answered and said to him, How can these things be? John 3.17 For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Okay, April 24th. Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes 4.13 Better a poor and a wise youth than an old and foolish king who will be admonished no more. Job 38.8 or who shut in the sea with doors when it burst forth and issued from the womb? 1 Timothy 4.9 This is a faithful saying and worthy of all repentance. Jeremiah 9.3 And like their bow, they have bent their tongues for lies. They are not valent for the truth on the earth, for they proceed from evil to evil, and they do not know me, says the Lord. Revelation 10.6 And swore by him who lives forever and ever, who created heaven and the things that are in it, the earth and the things that are in it, and the sea and the things that are in it, that there should be delay no longer. Genesis 14.8 And the king of Sodom, the king of Gomorrah, the king of Adma, the king of Zeboim, and the king of Bela, that is Zoar, went out and joined together in battle in the valley of Siddam. Ezekiel 41.3 Also he went inside and measured the doorpost, two cubits, and the entrance six cubits high, and the width of the entrance, seven cubits. Isaiah 29, 5. Moreover, the multitude of your foes shall be like fine dust, and the multitude of the terrible ones like chaff that passes away. Yes, it shall be an instant suddenly. Okay, here's the message. My child, the serpent will strike, and its venom is poisonous. It's going to poison the minds of my children. I cannot delay my coming any longer. I have already given you my hour, and my hour is final. My hour is here. The clock strikes, and it's over. I have sent out several warnings. You aren't listening. You aren't heeding them. Oh, you little faith. The world is going to get so dark, not only physically, but spiritually. My hand is on the clock. Can you see the constellation? Are you awake yet? Do you see everything I have been telling you? Are you blinded by your own ignorance and selfish desires? Don't you know I have sent out my prophets, my dreamers, my visionaries for your sake? I wish for no one to perish, but perish you will where you stand. You are blinded by your wickedness and you can't see the truth. You are too busy attacking and scoffing at your neighbor to look within your own self for your pride and arrogance. Oh, the enemy has twisted my words, and you allow the disingenuous speakers to prowl on you like a lion. Who else prowls around ready to devour you? Lucifer does. Children, please listen. Everything I have told you will come to pass. My people are tired and weary and ready to come home. I told you positions were changing, but do not trust the media. It is run by Lucifer, and it will speak only the Luciferian agenda. So I think there's something behind that, like with the mark and the DNA and stuff. Like, I don't know. I don't know why he references three. Maybe it's because um, the people left behind know, recognize the name Lucifer, and they know the story. Um, or, you know, someone had said that um, the Antichrist... Um, Barack Obama, because the Lord told me it was him, um, and his name in Hebrew is falling like lightning. So I wonder if he's just referencing Luciferian agenda, you know, with Obama and the Antichrist. Maybe that's why he's using two different things, because Satan ends up going, you know, taking over the Antichrist. Hmm, I think I'm starting to get it now. Maybe. Trumpets will sound. Spica is in position, ready to blow. 
countdown begins, 43, what does that signify? So the night before I had the dream, I'm coming on the 43rd day, I think is what he said. Um, I don't remember, it was in the video, you gotta go back, something about 43, I think he said the 43rd day it was a dream that I had. And then he gave it, confirmed it in the message, it was him. Uh, okay, 43, what does that signify? How many days till my return are you anticipating my arrival? Do you see my patterns yet? Or are you misguided by your biblical teachings of men? Someone was saying something about that the other day, guys. What he's saying is, you know, when you're reading the Bible, instead of just listening to preachers and trying to find answers from man, seek God, seek Jesus, the Holy Spirit. And when you're reading the, the scriptures, seek him for understanding. There's even words in there that says don't rely on... Um, on you know rely on the spirit or whatever so okay i told you to come to me when you're weary i told you i will give you rest so why do you deny me why do you still mock my coming oh you idiotic fools i know who you truly worship i know the true key to my kingdom i have told you have you listened do you believe and trust in me yet do you know how many disasters are coming the ravenous wolves in sheep clothing are deceiving you. Somebody else said, oh, there's no way God would call, you know, someone an idiotic fool. Well, the God that comes back is a lion, guys. You know, he's been rejected and mocked for so long. The grace is over. There's no longer that grace where he's sweet and loving. It's over. You have to die for his glory after that. The ravenous wolves in sheep clothing are deceiving you. They tell you I am not coming yet. They will tell you you have to suffer through my wrath. It's an idiom, a mockery to my existence. Did I not die for you so you may be saved? So why are you still following the law? Do you know every law must be completed if you are under the law? Do you want to be cursed by the law? Are you blinded by my truths? Get the speck out of your eye before you look at the speck in your neighbor's eye. Your pride will be the death of you. Where is your love? Where is your heart? I told you to love your neighbor, not mock at them. The whole world is about to change and you will wish you had come to repentance, but it will be too late. I told you how to have eternal life. I told you to love me and trust in me. I told you to believe in me with your heart and confess I am Lord and I will save you. But you aren't believing in me. You are relying on the law and your own works to save you. Disasters will fall in Michigan, Kentucky, Idaho, Nebraska, and Maine. It's going to get bad, really bad. No more diesel. No more food trucks. Famine is going to increase tenfold. Wake up, children. It's all coming. More ice. Lights in the sky. Aurora lights all over. Electrical outages. Lightning strikes and the moon at her feet. Fruits have been sorted. The end is near. Are you awake yet? I am your true king. I am your prince of peace. Abide in my commandments. Love your Lord God. Love thy neighbor. I love you and I am your rescuer, your redeemer, your Adonai. And I have spoken. 1 Corinthians 2.11 For what man knows the things of a man except the spirit of the man which is in him? Even so no one knows the things of God except the spirit of God. John 17.3 and this is eternal life, that they may know you, you the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. 1 Peter 2.9 But you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, his own special people, that you may proclaim the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Matthew 19.5 and said, For this reason a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. I think that's like symbolism too. But there's a lot of symbolism in this Bible. It's awesome. 
If the anoint uh, Leviticus four three through eight, if the anointed priest sins, bringing guilt on the people, then let him offer to the Lord for his sin, for which he has sinned a young bull without blemish as a sin offering. He shall bring the bull to the door of the tabernacle of meeting before the Lord, lay his hand on the bull's head and kill the bull before the Lord. Then the anointed priest shall take some of the bull's blood and bring it to the tabernacle of meeting. The priest shall dip his finger in the blood and sprinkle some of the blood seven times before the Lord in front of the veil of the sanctuary, and the priest shall put some of the blood on the blood of the bull at the base of the altar of the burnt offering, which is at the door of the tabernacle of meeting. He shall take from it all the fat of the bull as bull fat of the bull as the sin offering, the fat that covers the entrails and all the fat which is on the entrails. Luke nine five. And whoever will not receive you when you go out that city, shake off the very dust from your feet as a testimony against them. First Samuel 4, 8. So I had to do that on some guys. There's just some people that just comment constantly with just negative energy. And, you know, I'm afraid for the new believers that come on the page and that don't understand and they read those things and then they get confused. So the ones that there's just no changing their minds and they don't believe I just it's better if they move on um, so sometimes I have to make that happen I don't like to do that to anybody because the Lord loves us all and you know I just try to show love but I'm human and it gets very exhausting at times Luke 9 5 and whoever will not receive you okay I just said that one first Samuel 4 8 Woe to us who will deliver us from the hand of these mighty gods. These are the gods who struck the Egyptians with all the plagues in the wilderness. Colossians 1.5 Because of the hope which is laid up for you in heaven, of which you heard before in the word of the truth of the gospel. Deuteronomy 12.8 You shall not at all do as we are doing here today, every man doing whatever is right in his own eyes. Philippians 1.7 just as it is right for me to think this of you all, because I have you in my heart, inasmuch as both in my chains and in the defense and confirmation of the gospel, you all are partakers with me of grace. Job 35.3 For you say, what advantage will it be to you? What profit shall I have more than if I had sinned? Joshua 4.11 then it came to pass, when all the people had completely crossed over, that the ark of the Lord and the priests crossed over in the presence of the people. We're almost done. I can make it. Oh, goodness, it's 1.37. I should have did this earlier. I'm sleeping in tomorrow. April 25th, 2023. Ephesians 2.5. Even when we were dead in trespasses, made us alive together with Christ. By grace, you have been saved. 1 Peter 2.9 But you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, his own special people, that you may proclaim the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Galatians 4.13 You know that because of physical infirmity, I preached the gospel to you at the first. Uh... 1 Corinthians 3, 5. Who then is Paul and who is Apollos, but ministers through whom you believed as the Lord gave to each one? Colossians 1, 5 through 8. Because of the hope which is laid up for you in heaven, of which you heard before in the word of the truth of the gospel, which has come to you as it has also in all the world and is bringing forth fruit as it is also among you since the day you heard and knew the grace of God in truth, as you also learned for me, Frephas, our dear fellow servant, who is the faithful minister of Christ on your behalf, who also declared to us your love in the Spirit. Second Thessalonians 2 Thessalonians 2.6 And now you know what is restraining, that he may be revealed in his own time. You know, someone was saying um, that, you know, where does it say that the, the church or, you know, the Holy Spirit is a restrainer? Well, there was something I read about faith, um, faith leaving, and and I can't remember where it was, but it was, of course, after someone said that, of course, the first of the day, 
talked about it because that's how God confirms things to me a lot of times because I listen to it every day and that it said that so think about it when you um have the Holy Spirit when you truly believe in Jesus you're given the Holy Spirit well when he takes his bride and his elect the Holy Spirit is gone and those people that had the Holy Spirit had faith so faith is gone so faith is the restrainer because the Holy Spirit is the restrainer. It's like two and two is what I got from reading that. I was like blown away. I never thought about faith being the restrainer. You know, I mean, it's the Holy Spirit, the church, but Satan's not going to do, he's not going to have free reign until his people are gone because then the Holy Spirit's not there anymore. The faith is gone. And then There'll obviously be new faith because new believers are going to come to Jesus when they realize that we've been speaking truths this whole time. Okay. Um, Jonah 3.8 But let man and beast be covered with sackcloth and cry mightily to God. Yes, let everyone turn from his evil way and from the violence that is in his hands. Revelation 12.8 Oh, that was Jonah 3, it's so Revelation 12, 8. But they did prevail, nor was a place found for them in heaven any longer. Okay, and here's the message. The lawlessness will be revealed soon. Um, the lawlessness, lawlessness 1 will be revealed soon, I think is what it said. I don't know. I think I forgot the 1. <laughs> I'm human. <laughs> rockets, my child, rockets. A mirrored image. Glass, is it a reflection or can you see through it? Now, this is weird. I didn't know what that meant or anything like that. What was weird is people were commenting saying they had dreams about this. So God always confirms it, you know, with a vision or a dream with somebody else. And that's really cool. Don't be deceived. Nothing they are telling you is what it really is. Some of you are so deceived. You won't ever ask me for discernment or pray to me. You only lean on your own understanding. Did I not tell you I was the bread of life? So why don't you let me feed you? I am your good shepherd. My sheep knows my voice. They will hear me calling them home. As the trumpet sounds, the earth will shake. I am calling you up. Stop doubting my anointed ones. Their hearts are pure. They love me and my father loves them. My father knows them. They don't ostracize ostracize another human being. They don't scoff and hate people. If you don't love your brother who you have seen, how will you love someone you have never seen? Seismic activity is coming. The berating fog will destroy cities. You can't see it yet, but turmoil and trials haven't started everywhere yet. Lots of arguments, lots of quarrels. Once AI takes over, people won't be able to hold their tongue. It's going to get very dark and very violent. Looting, rioting, it's all coming. What you will soon see, no man has ever seen. Wake up, children, my door is still open, but it's about to close. Once my door shuts, you will die under the swords for my glory. I love all my children, and I wish for no one to perish. Why can't you see the truth? Why can't you hear me calling you home? My heart is breaking. So many are still under Satan's deception. You need to break free from it. It's like a yeast that just grows in the church among believers and spills over in my children's thoughts and covers up the truth of the good news. Stop practicing lawlessness. When you are under the law, you are under the curse. You aren't saved by me and my grace. I took away the penalty of sin. So why are you trying to get to heaven based on your own merits? Stop boasting. I tell you the truth. That is the only reward you will receive. Please wake up. Believe in me. Give me your heart, child. I will save you. The drum beats at the hour. The restrainer will be removed. Follow the signs in the heavens. Look at the moon and the stars and you will know my arrival is near. The timeline of my movie. The resurrection of my movie. The ones you all are seeking and praying for. My movie reveals my true calendar date. That's the prodigal son journey of the stars, by the way. I have chosen my prophets through messages. The end is near. My timeline, my schedule is on my release. You will know the true calendar date and my movie will be revealed. Lights, 
lightning strikes, winds, very high winds, ice, lots of ice, acid rain, halos, sun and moon, sackcloth, the enemy hidden, the evil one will rise. Don't doubt these words. Don't doubt my prophets. I have put my words in their mouth. The end is near, children. My hand is on the clock. Constellation upside down. Meteorites fall. Acid falls. First rain, then comes war. Look up, children. I am at the door. The gate to heaven is very narrow. Many are called, but only a few are chosen. Aurora lights everywhere. I'm calling you up. Do you see my pattern now? I am the only way to the Father. Whoever believes in me will never perish and will have eternal life. I am your Lord God and I have spoken. Jeremiah 14, 8. Oh, the hope of Israel is time and trouble. Why should you be like a stranger in the land and like a traveler who turned aside to tarry for a night? Ezekiel 17, 6, And it grew and became a spreading vine of low stature. Its branches turned toward him, but its roots were under it, so it became a vine, brought forth branches, and put forth shoots. Deuteronomy 18, 9, When you come into the land which the Lord your God is giving you, you shall not learn to follow the abominations of, these nat of those nations. Beloved of God, Oh, first John four eleven. <clears throat> Beloved, if God so loved us, we also to love one another. Ephesians two twelve. That at the time you were without Christ, being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel and strangers from the covenants of promise, having no hope and without God in the world. First Samuel nine five. When they had come to the land of Zuth, Saul said to his servant who was with him, Come, let us return, lest my father cease caring about the donkeys and become worried about us. First Samuel 7, 6, So they gathered together at Mizpah, drew water, and poured it out before the Lord. And they fasted that day and said there, We have sinned against the Lord. And Samuel judged the children of Israel at Mizpah. Exodus 14, 6, So he made ready his chariot and took his people with him. Leviticus 3, 8, and he shall lay his hand on the head of his offering and kill it before the tabernacle of meeting. And Aaron's son shall sprinkle its blood all around on the altar. Proverbs 19.2 Also it is not good for a soul to be without knowledge, and he who sins who hastens with his feet. Proverbs 14.6 A scoffer seeks wisdom and does not find it, but knowledge is easy to him who understands. Psalm 41.5-9 my enemies speak evil of me. When will he die and his name perish? If he comes to see me, he speaks lies. His heart gathers iniquity to itself. When he goes out, he tells it. All who hate me whisper together against me, against me. <clears throat> Psalms 41, 5 through 9. They devise my hurt and evil disease. They say clings to him. And now that he lies down, he will rise up no more. Even my own familiar friend in whom I trusted, who ate my bread, has lifted up his heel against me. Revelation 17, 6. I saw the woman drunk with the blood of the saints and with the blood of the martyrs of Jesus. When I saw her, I marveled with great amazement. Job 19, 8. He has fenced up my way so that I cannot pass, and he has set darkness in my paths. Genesis 34, 2. And when Shechem, the son of Hamor, the Hivite, the prince of the country, saw her. He took her and lay with her and violated her. Jeremiah 14, 9. Why should you be like a man astonished, like a mighty one who cannot save? Yet you, O Lord, are in our midst, and we are called by your name. Do not leave us. James 1, 3. Knowing that the testing of your faith produces patience. Luke 4, 11. And in their hands they shall bear you up, lest you dash your foot against a stone. Habakkuk 3.8 O Lord, were you displeased with the rivers? Was your anger against the rivers? Was your wrath against the sea? That you rode on your horses, your chariots of salvation. Ruth 2.6-9 So the servant who was in charge of the reapers answered and said, It is a young Moabite woman who came back with Naomi from the country of Moab. She said, Please let me glean and rather after the reapers among the sheaves. 
So she came and has continued from morning until now, though she rested a little in the house. Then Boaz um, uh, said to Ruth, You will listen, my daughter, will you not? Do you not to go to glean another field, nor go from here, but stay close by my young woman? Let your eyes be on the field which they reap, and go after them. Have I not commanded the young men not to touch you? And when you are thirsty, go to the vessels and drink from what the young men have drawn. Daniel 7, 3. And four great beasts came up from the sea, and each different from the other. Joshua 2, 11. And as soon as we heard these things, our hearts melted. Neither did there remain any more courage in anyone because of you. For the Lord your God, he is in God, heaven above and on earth beneath. So I've noticed <clears throat> sometimes God will give me the exact verse for what we're talking about in the message but sometimes it's like a almost like hidden it's like inside the chapter and he wants people to go to the chapter to figure out oh, sorry to figure out um what his message is you know because sometimes you know when he has like a personal message i prayed for people and it's to lead them to that chapter not just the verse Okay, we're almost done. April 27th, 2023. Jude 1, 3 through 8. Beloved, why, while I was very diligent to write you to you concerning our common salvation, I found it necessary to write to you, exhorting you to contend earnestly for the faith which was once for all delivered to the saints. For certain men have crept in unnoticed who long ago were marked out for this condemnation, ungodly men who turn the grace of our God into lewdness and deny the only Lord God and our Lord Jesus Christ. But I want to remind you, though you once knew this, that the Lord, having saved the people out of the land of Egypt, afterward destroyed those who did not believe. And the angels who did not keep their proper domain, <clears throat> but left their own abode, he has reserved in everlasting chains under darkness for the judgment of the great day, as Sodom and Gomorrah, and the cities around them in a similar manner to these, having given themselves over to sexual immorality and gone after strange flesh, are set forth as an example suffering the vengeance of eternal life likewise also these dreamers defile the flesh reject authority and speak evil of dignitaries 7 i to 11. <sighs> sorry 7 i to 11. the lord will be awesome to them for he will reduce nothing all the gods of the earth people shall worship him each one from his place indeed all the shores of the nations malachi 1 5. <clears throat> Your eyes shall see, and you shall say, The Lord is magnified beyond the border of Israel. Ruth 4, nine. And Boaz said to the elders and to all the people, You are witnesses this day that I have brought all that was Elamalix and all that was Chilions and Malons from the hand of Naomi. Jonah 2.7 When my soul fainted within me, I remember the Lord, and my prayer went up to you into your holy temple. Jeremiah 1.14 Then the Lord said to me, Out of the north calamities shall break forth on all the inhabitants of the land. <clears throat> Small message. Mordecai, Esther, the Jews, I will redeem them. They will have my seal of protection. The ones who believe in me, my chosen ones, my elect, my children, they will escape the hour of trial of coming on the world. Jeremiah 29, 11. For I know the thoughts that I think towards you, says the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you future and a hope. Jeremiah 21, 3. Bear with me that I may speak, and after I have spoken, keep mocking. Leviticus 4, 6. The priest shall dip his finger in the blood and sprinkle some of the blood seven times before the Lord in front of the veil of the sanctuary. So I think he's giving like Passover <clears throat> meanings there. Okay, so the great reset is coming. You will own nothing and be happy. So when he said that, he's talking about what they say, not, not what he's saying. Someone had commented on that. The fall of the economy is coming. I love to see my people seeking me with all their hearts. My true calendar, what a beautiful mystery. Find my true calendar, look at the moon and count the days in between the Sabbaths. When does the moon start? What time of day is it? Is it breaking the dawn? My true calendar was designed to show the glory of the heavens I have created. The stars, the moon, the sea. Trees all correlate somehow. Seek me, I will help you find it. It hasn't been revealed yet, but more pieces are coming and it will all fall into place. You will understand why soon. <clears throat> Remember, everything has been changed. The devil has twisted my original design so you can't see my truths in the heavens. My design, it's all been covered up to confuse you. Who is the author of confusion? 
Do you get it now? Can you see the patterns? Do you see how all the calendars lined up with the days they have taken away and they have added some? It's right in front of your face. My hour is here. Ooh. It scared me. <laughs> that woke me up for sure. Goodness. <laughs> okay. Uh oh. I was like half asleep um, while I was reading and that just like really woke me up. Okay, where was I at? Um, okay, um, it's right in front of your face. My hour is here. It's interesting. I googled right in front of your face, you know, just to see what was out there. There was like um, a Korean director, I think, and made this movie right in front of your face. I don't know what it's about, but I also looked at other movies he made in 2019. Um, he made a movie called The Day, um, The Day of His Arrival, or When Does, When's the Day of His Arrival, or something like that. I thought it was interesting. I don't know if it has anything to do with anything, but I thought it was interesting. Okay. <clears throat> um, okay, it's right in front of your face. My hour is here. Tick tock. It's turning. Aquari Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Pay attention. You will see the pattern. I told you to keep your lamps full. This is keeping your lamps full, praying and worshiping me, seeking me, asking me for discernment and believe in me. Some of you are on the prowl like the devil, seeking who you may devour. Where is your heart, child? Where is your love? Quarrels are the footstool of the devil. Oh, how he is loving every word you speak. Deception is real and he is deceiving many of you. You aren't in my word and you aren't asking me for my understanding. You aren't being guided by the Holy Spirit. Gia Gematria, there is a hidden meaning. So someone was telling me that Gematria is not good. Like, um, that's the hidden meaning. I don't know if that's true or not. Um, but, you know, take it to Jesus and ask him because I, I haven't gotten it yet. But apparently, I know we're supposed to look at the concordances and numbers and stuff. He always wants us to stay, like, in the Bible and in his word, not necessarily go in the gematrius site i think so remember satan mocks everything okay <clears throat> if you look at look at it you will find it i can't wait to see my bride purim and passover is it the same day find my true calendar and you will know time is so short my children i know everyone's heart i know everyone's thoughts and i am coming don't listen to vulturous thieves trying to steal your joy the good news is spreading, and before my wrath pours down, I will pick up my bride. I love you. Believe in me with all your hearts, and I will save you. Minnesota will see fire. Train derailment. Connecticut storm drains flood. The moon upside down Virgo at her feet has a double meaning. My door is closing. The prodigal son has it returned. Did he make the journey from the stars? The movies, the lights, the cinema, it's all one big puzzle. <laughs> you tell me to say that again. <laughs> if you pay attention and search the scriptures, you will find it ice means something. That's weird because, you know, there is ice in scriptures. Somebody was tagging me in that and I didn't know that. That's really cool. Also a hidden meaning. There's one where it says ice out of the womb or something. So that's really cool. And he said ice is coming, so that, I think that means the baby's going to be delivered. And then Jesus is coming. Okay, ice means something, also a hidden meaning. Wake up, child, I am at the door. I am your Jehovah, and I have spoken. So I was at dinner tonight. I went out to dinner with a friend, um, my, my best friend and her husband. And I was sitting there, and we were eating. And, um, you know, I was eating my cheesecake. I had this awesome caramel cheesecake tonight. Which is why I'm tired because I ate so much. Ugh. But um, my fork or spoon just started going like this. And I was like, Abby, like the spirit is on me strong right now. And then I heard wedding feast three times in my head. So that was awesome. And then that was it. It was like it went away. I think it was just like an encouragement. Because our Jesus is so good. He's loving. That's what he does. Okay. If you pay attention and search the scriptures, you will find it. Ice means something. Also a hidden meaning. 
Wake up, child, I am at the door. I am your Jehovah, and I have spoken. Revelation 15, 3. They sing the song of Moses, the servant of God, and the song of the Lamb, saying, Great and marvelous are your works. Lord God Almighty, just and true are your ways, O King of the saints. 2 Thessalonians 2, 13. But we are bound to give thanks to God always for you, brethren, beloved by the Lord, because God from the beginning chose you for salvation through sanctification by the Spirit and belief in the truth. Matthew 16, 5. Now when his disciples had come to the other side, they had forgotten to take bread. Seven, my child, seven, look up. Count the days. What's the significance of 43? Does it tie in? So there was someone that contacted me, Katie, um, and her husband, and they said, if you count um, May 3rd, excuse me, in 43 days from that, get uh, March 30th, I think. I don't know if that's true, but, um, but I think March 30th was the day. I was looking, that was the day he talked about like tsunamis, rapture, um, the earthquake. So I think like all that's going to happen you know, right after the rapture, like, just, like, one by one, chaos, um, okay, so, what's the significance of 43, does it tie in, shock waves are coming, electron beams will hit the satellites, rain, it's coming, I think in the video I said electro, but I put in the, on the title, electron, I didn't know what that was, guys, I googled it after I heard it, that's interesting. And then someone told me tonight at dinner that Russia has a weapon, or China has a weapon, I think it was China, um, that can knock out our satellites. I wonder if that's how the EMP is going to happen in the, um, in the darkness, you know, the worldwide blackout he talked about, like after, like, rapture could be the same time, but he just said darkness wasn't for my elect, so that's what I'm going by. Um, okay, uh, this time it's, so shock waves are coming, electron beams will hit the satellites, rain is coming, this time it's not a mirrored image, it's falling, believe in me and I will save you, I have already paid the penalty of sin, seek me with full repentance and believe, I want to save you, I wish for no one to perish, your Adonai and your deliverer is soon, keep looking up, Esther 4.3. And in every province where the king's command and decree arrived, there was great mourning among the Jews with fasting, weeping, and wailing, and many lay in sackcloth and ashes. Daniel 3.11 And whoever does not fall down and worship shall be cast into the midst of a burning, fiery furnace. Ezekiel 21.8 Again the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Genesis 42.3 So Joseph's ten brothers went down to buy grain in Egypt. Philippians 3.9 and be found in him, not having my own righteousness, which is from the law, but that which is through faith in Christ, the righteousness which is from God by faith. Luke 17, 3. Take heed to yourselves. If your brother sins against you, rebuke him. And if he repents, forgive him. Luke 21, 5. Then as some spoke of the temple, how it was adorned with beautiful stones and donations, he said. Mark 8, 6. So he commanded the multitude to sit down on the ground, and he took seven loaves and gave thanks, broke them, and gave them to the disciples to set before them. And they set them before the multitude. John 9, 5. As long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world. I think it's interesting how he keeps giving me scriptures with seven in it. That means something, since it matched the message. Okay, we have one more message. And then I get to go to sleep. April 28, 2023. Joel 3, 5. Because you have taken my silver and my gold and have carried into your temples my prized possessions. Philippians 1, 7. Just as it is right for me to think of you all, because I have you in my heart inasmuch as both in my chains and in the defense and confirmation of the gospel, you all are partakers with me of grace. Jeremiah 15, 5. For who will have pity on you, O Jerusalem, or who will... Who will bemoan you, or who will turn aside to ask, how are you doing? First Thessalonians 3, 7. Therefore, brethren, in all our affliction and distress, we were comforted concerning you by your faith. 
Job 38.7, when the morning stars sang together and all the sons of God shouted for joy. Deuteronomy 18.6, so if a Levite comes from any of your gates, from where he dwells among all Israel and comes with all the desire of his mind to the place which the Lord chooses. Here's the message, my child, the sickle tree hasn't blossomed yet. So guys, after I heard, <clears throat> I was in my office and um, all of a sudden the spirit changed and I heard sickle tree, sickle tree has it. I thought he said has it bloomed yet, but then when I went back into the message, I got blossomed, but um, either one, I think the same thing. So I thought that was interesting, so I googled sickle tree, and I saw a verse where it said, when Jesus is coming back, he's carrying a sickle in his hand. So, that gave me a lot of encouragement, I felt like that was a sign. <clears throat> so you have to kind of find that verse, I have no idea where it is, but if you just google sickle in Bible verse, you might be able to find it. Or use duck duck or something, it's not as evil as Google. Okay, my child, the sickle tree hasn't blossomed yet. Remember I said April showers bring May flowers. Do you feel me close? I am at the door. Patience, my child. I delay some more of you will be saved. Why do you lack understanding? Aren't you my prize? Didn't I promise to keep you from the hour of trial coming on this whole world? Why can't you see I have created the heavens and the earth? The sea, is it my mystery? My trees, do they bloom? Does the almond tree wither? Who is the author of confusion? Who has changed my creation, my calendar? Who has manifested light? If you are still walking in darkness, you are not practicing the truth. Do not be deceived by Satan. He comes as the angel of light. Constellation upside down, rain poured, acid necks. Follow the trains, there is a pattern. Aries, Taurus, Libra, turn the clock. It will twist, then clock stops. I have no idea what that means. <laughs> it's got to be like a sign of the heavens, solarium thing. My hour is here. Turn key for your salvation. Destruction for the wicked. Devil mocks me, mocks my creation. The wheel is turning. Trust in me. So I just Google words, guys. Like if um, I hear something... And when I'm going back and I'm looking, I'm curious because I have no idea what the wheel is turning means. I Googled it and stuff, and I don't remember what it means now, but I, <laughs> I looked at it before. <laughs> and it was interesting. Something about, like, maybe the the end is bottomed out or end near. I don't know. I can't remember. Don't take my word for it. Um, okay. Uh, <sighs> sorry. Trust in me and I will save you. Believe in me, the bottom has fallen out. The dragon, oh, maybe it wasn't the bottom has fallen out. That might be something different. Okay. The dragon will try to devour the child, but the child will be caught up. You will be caught up. So you know what's amazing? If you look at Revelation 4, 1 through 2, John, there's a trump, there's an open door, which is the Philadelphia church in Revelation 3, 8, and the only one in the seven churches um, and it says, there's a trumpet that kind of sounds like an angel, and then it says, come up here. So I think that's cool how he says, I'm caught up. And that's also in Revelation 12, where when the babies deliver, the baby's caught up. So we are also symbolizing the baby. Um, and he, he proves that here, because, you know, he gave me that revelation. But it says it here, it says, the end has come, and the rest will endure my wrath. The woman flees to safety. So the woman is described as Israel, you know, the 144,000, the 12 tribes. I will protect her, my Israel, with seals. Because, you know, he puts seals on their forehead before they go in the wilderness, before more of his bowls are poured out. Or when the first bowl is poured out, I think it is. Um, I will always protect all my chosen ones. Many of you have asked and prayed to me about the age of accountability. What did I say about the good news? Won't it be preached to all nations? Have they heard the good news? Did, didn't I give you free will and let you make your own choices? Child development is a factor. Do they understand logic and reasoning? Can they adapt on their own? Look at their fruits. Can they understand I died on the cross for them? Uh, so those were the reasons, I guess. 
and he said, great big waves, giant waves are coming. Unfortunately, many won't make it. I already know who will cry out to me and come to me before my door closes. I am the creator of all things. I have kept my mysteries hidden until now. It's all being revealed. Don't mock my prophets. They are speaking truths. Your wicked hearts, perversion of my word, and mocking my spiritual gifts. I give all my children different gifts. Each one is according to my will. So don't doubt me. I am diligent and forthcoming, and my design is my design. And it's according to my will and my purpose for your creation. I hear Dobby in the background. I knew the number of hairs on your head before you were born. So um, trust in me and I am with you. Be careful. Heed my warnings. Lots of false prophets. The devil can deceive with visions. You must test all spirits. I would never give a vision attacking another fellow believer. You know, spiritual warfare is really heightening right now. Um, Jesus, it's weird. Everything I come across, like comments or just things that I've seen that people have tagged me in, you know, he tends to give me messages on those things, um, confirming things, you know, because, you know, we're all human and we doubt things in our minds sometimes, like doubting Thomas. So, you know, he'll give me like the word of the day. Um, he'll give me scriptures, um, or just he'll speak to me. Um, and, you know, apparently there's a lot of spiritual warfare, you know, people saying they have visions and, um, of evil things attacking their neighbor. And God's not going to give you a vision like that. He's not going to give you anything to hurt somebody because you're not supposed to mock and scoff at your neighbor. You're just not. So, you know, you always have to test those spirits because the devil can definitely give you those kind of things. Um, yeah. Anyway. So, it was kind of nice because he was like kind of, my papa was like sticking up for me a little bit, you know, in the message. So, it was good because there's this one person that just keeps basically attacking me and just saying all these horrible things that are so not true. Um. I'm just praying for this person and hopefully they will um, open their eyes to Jesus, the real Jesus, and not a works-based gospel. Hang on, Dobby. I'm almost done. It's freaking out. Okay. Um, get back to the message. Sorry about that. The devil can deceive with visions. You must test all spirits. I would never give a vision attacking another fellow believer. I said, love your neighbor and don't rely on your own understanding. Be guided by the Spirit. My sheep knows my voice and I am the good shepherd. Don't I confirm and decree when two or more speak my words? So why are you still doubting? Your hearts have grown cold, but it's not too late, child, to come to me. I have stretched my arms wide open. Just believe in me with all your heart. You are saved by your faith and my grace. I love you. I don't want any one of my children to perish. Examine your heart, child, and let me give you peace. I am the Prince of Peace. Come to me and I will give you rest. I am your Lord God, your Savior, and I have spoken. Deuteronomy 3, five. All these cities were fortified with high walls, gates, and bars, besides a great many walled towns. Ezekiel 14.3 Son of man, these men have set up their idols in their hearts and put before them that which causes them to stumble into iniquity. Should I let myself be inquired of at all by them? <sighs> let me go grab them real quick. I'm almost done. <clears throat> All right, you're okay. You're making all this fussing from this recording. I'm almost done. Come here. Oh. Oh. Grab your water. Dobby had to finish the party. This is Dobby. He's, like I said, he's 17. So, here you go. Want some wawa? I think maybe he has to go to the bathroom. Alright, we're almost done, Dobby. We're almost done. You can hold it. Okay, so Deuteronomy 3.5. Well, I did that one already. Ezekiel 14.3. Son of man, these men have set up their idols in their hearts and put before them that which causes them to stumble into iniquity. Should I let myself be inquired of at all by them? 
Jeremiah 1 9 then the Lord put forth his hand and touched my mouth and the Lord said to me behold I have put my words in your mouth here's another little message Joseph saved his brothers he forgave them he turned the cheek won't you turn the cheek won't you forgive follow me in my path and forgive if you don't show forgiveness to your neighbor why should you be forgiven time is short you have endured to the end by not worshiping the devil and believing in me for a man won't know what the spirit knows but there will come a time very soon my spirit won't be there to guide you and you may need your neighbor isaiah 21 3 therefore my loins are filled with pain pangs have taken hold of me like the pangs of a woman in labor i was distressed when i heard it i was dismayed when i saw it <clears throat> Malachi 4.3, you shall trample the wicked, for they shall be ashes under the soles of your feet on the day that I do this, says the Lord of hosts. 1 Corinthians 3.9, for we are God's fellow workers, you are God's field, you are God's building. Colossians 3.11, when there is neither Greek nor Jew, circumcised nor up uncircumcised barbarian scythian slave nor free but christ is all and in all you okay you okay buddy pack it up okay i may lose my place hebrews 2 8 you have put all things in subjection under his feet for in that he put all in subjection under him he left nothing that is not put under him, but now we do not yet see all things put under him. Psalm 14, 5. There they are in great fear, for God is with the generation of the righteous. Proverbs 26, 3. A whip for the horse, a bridle for the donkey, and a rod for the fool's back. John 3, 7. Do not marvel that I said to you, you must be born again. And we're done. So sometimes people are like, well, I don't understand those scriptures with that message. There's always a reason why God picks those scriptures. The human eye doesn't always understand, but I mean, God is like the creator of the world. So what he picks means something. I mean, I was blown away when I watched that video um, and it was not based on what the guy was saying because he was more talking about second coming, but all the scriptures he was using was signifying the coming of the Lord. And I didn't know that the Lord was giving me those scriptures and they were like, just things that I didn't know that like stuck out like different prophecies and stuff. So I thought that was cool. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, it's late. I'm going to go to bed. Thank you guys for listening. Um, always take everything to Jesus and believe in him with all your heart. And he will save you guys. He loves you. He doesn't want, he doesn't want anyone to perish. Okay. Um, what should we sing for them? Dobby. They always like a song. <laughs> you have an idea? Hmm? <laughs> let's see if I remember this song um, okay you are the medicine the only cure for everything I feel within redeeming what was lost and all that could have been oh this is a healing kind of love Yes, it is. You are the truest friend. Staying through the night when I was at my end. Comforting my heart till it was light again. All oh, this is a steady kind of love. Whoa. My goodness, he sneezed. <laughs> you ruined my song. <laughs> Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace, Emmanuel, God with us, you're here with me. Wonderful Counselor, the government is resting on your shoulder. You are the final word. You alone decide when every page will turn. So I will trust you. I will 
Something rests ashore. Oh, this is a steady kind of love. Whoa, you are everlasting father, prince of peace. Emmanuel, God with us, you're here with me. Wonderful counselor, the government is resting on your shoulders. I am all oh, you are faithful, God, so faithful. You are faithful, God. You're Okay, that's all I'll do because I don't know a lot of the rest of it. But all right, guys, thank you so much for listening and thanks for giving me a chance to worship a little bit on the video sometimes because now that I don't have a church or anything because I'm no longer on the worship team because of the messages. But um, I get to sing for you guys every once in a while, so it's fun. Okay, I love you guys. Have a blessed night. Say goodnight to Dobby. Say bye, Dobby. Bye, Dobby. Okay, guys.